Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to look at how to create this beautiful particle trail in DaVinci Resolve. So, the first thing we're going to do is to take our Fusion Composition clip straight to the Fusion page, and then let's go ahead and bring in a P Emitter as well as P Render node. And what we're gonna do here is to go to the P Emitter node first, then let's go to the Region tab and select uh, bitmap and then what we're gonna do right now is to bring in ellipse masking node as well as a background node What we're gonna do is to right now create the region where the particles will be emitting from So let's change the color first of all to white and then uh, in the ellipse masking node We're going to bring the region down a little bit and then we're going to uncheck solid and then let's just bring up the border width a touch and uh, That looks good enough the next thing we're going to do is to come to the style tab and let's change it to a bitmap and what we're going to do right now is to bring a background node as well as uh, another ellipse masking node and let's once again change uh, the color uh, of the background to white and then what we're going to do is to bring the circle all the way down we're just trying to create a little dot here uh, that's going to be our particles all right now let's go back to the first ellipse masking node let's bring down the length uh, quite a bit there and then let's uh, keyframe the position parameter Let's go to the end of the video keyframe again and we're going to change it to 2.5 So if we look at this clip right now guys, this section is going to go around the circle two and a half times This basically is going to dictate the movement the motion of our particle trail Moving on, let's come back to the PM emitter node, go to controls tab, let's bring the number parameter all the way up to 100, let's change the number variance as well, let's bring down lifespan parameter just a little bit, and then let's bring up lifespan variance. Now let's also change the temporal distribution to random. Now let's go to velocity, let's bring up the velocity parameter there just a touch, and then let's bring up velocity variance, and then let's also change the angle as well as the angle variance. So now once we do this guys, you will see that now if we take a preview, look at the preview of this particle trail, you see we already have the foundation and all the particles are dispersing as the trail is forming, and that's exactly the effect that we want. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, guys, is to go back to the style tab. Let's bring up the size controls. Let's just bring down the size parameter just a little bit there. And then let's uh, bring up the size variance, uh, play with that, and see, you know, how that's going to look uh, on, the, on the particles. And then let's also change size over life curve. So this is going to dictate how the size, how the particle is going to change in terms of size over its lifespan. All right, now let's also come to the fade controls section and then bring uh, down the fading and then bring up the fade out. But uh, playing with these parameters, guys, will give us a pretty decent looking particle trail at this point. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is to create an additional layer to our existing particle trail here. So with that said, let's go ahead and bring in PM emitter as well as P render. Let's connect this back to the other one as a foreground. And now let's come back to the second PM emitter node here. Let's go to region, change it to bitmap. Then let's just reuse the other nodes that we used for PM emitter one. Uh, same with a style. Uh, let's go to change it to bitmap and then reuse those nodes, those background nodes uh, here here for PM emitter 2 uh, as well. Now let's go back to the controls tab, leave numbers parameter as it is. Now let's bring up number variance there. Now let's also bring down lifespan uh, just a little bit and then let's bring up uh, lifespan uh, variance. Now let's change the position variance here. So let's bring that up quite a bit here. Okay, and now let's change the distribution to random. Uh, bring up velocity uh, just a touch same with velocity variance now let's change angle as well as an ang uh, angle variance so now let's go back to the style tab let's bring up the size controls now let's bring up the size uh, quite a bit here uh, and then let's bring up size variance all the way up now let's change the size over life curve there so now guys i'll just just finish it up uh, by changing uh, the fade controls so uh, feel free to play with these parameters, but if we have a look at our particle trail right now, guys, you guys can see that we have these additional particles hovering around uh, our uh, particle trails, and they, they have these like bokeh uh, effect. It looks really nice. So that's what we're trying to create here, and feel free to change these parameters uh, to see how it's going to look, but these are uh, the basic settings that uh, we can manipulate to get to this effect.
All right, now let's touch up our effect a little bit here. So let's go to the second emitter note. Let's go to the color controls and change it to something like a light yellow. Now let's go to the first emitter note. For color controls, let's go to color variance over uh, life. Let's change the first part uh, to a light yellow and then the second part to a darker orange color. Uh, so that looks okay, that looks decent. So now let's bring in a glow, a soft glow node and then connect it to P emitter one. And now uh, what we're gonna do is to bring up the threshold uh, quite a bit there. And then let's also uh, bring up uh, or uh, bring uh, up the gain parameter a little bit. And then let's uh, bring down the, uh, the gain size. So we're going to make the gain and the gain size go in opposite direction. Uh, so now this is looking a lot better, giving us that soft glow to this of particles. So just using this soft glow node is going to add a nice effect to it. Uh, we can also bring in uh, the highlight node as well, attach it after soft glow. Let's bring up the low end of the, uh, of the, of the threshold, then let's bring up the curve setting, bring down the length uh, setting there, and then let's leave the number of points the way they are. Uh, and that looks pretty good too. Uh, we can also play with some other settings, right? And then let's go to the second parameter here, change the color a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. And then uh, we can also uh, go back to the soft glow node, uh, change the threshold, play with that, play with the gain, uh, as well as uh, other parameters, uh, other settings. We can go back to P uh, emitter one, uh, play with size, uh, the size over life, and then we can also go back to uh, the uh, controls tab there, play with the numbers of particles that will be generated, bring that down or bring that up, uh, play with the variance, lifespan, but all these parameters, guys, are something you can experiment with and see if they can get you the effect that you have in mind. All right, guys, so last thing we're gonna do here is to go to the merge node and we're going to uh, create that quick flash to these like bigger bokeh particles, right? So we're going to play with the blend uh, plan parameter here. So let's right click, go to modify with, and then let's go to shake. And then let's go to the modifiers tab. We're going to bring up the minimum uh, parameter there to the middle and let's bring down smoothness all the way down and then let's reseed. So now if we go ahead and uh, take this back to the edit page, uh, we're just going to let this effect render you guys. But uh, as you can see, this is the particle trail. Uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, these are some of the basic settings that you know you can experiment with, you can play with to create this effect. All right guys, so I hope this uh, tutorial helps. And as always, uh, I will see you next time.